In today's video, I want to announce that Oculus just released the pass-through API as part of version 31 of their SDK. So this is available in the asset store right now. You can download it or you can go to their website. I'm gonna be putting the link in the description of this video. And why is this exciting? Well, this is exciting because you guys know that mixed reality is a very expensive cost of entry technology, which means that you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars to get into it. But today we can now use the Oculus Quest, which is about $299 to $399 and it's going to be a lot easier for us to jump into it because of the cost of entry. I wanna walk you through how to set it up in Unity, what steps do you need to follow. Make sure that you watch every single step because if you miss one of the steps that I'm about to show you, it's not going to work. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. The first thing that I want you to check is make sure that you download Unity 2019.4.29F1. I'm using the latest LTS. And I also have Android build support, Android SDK, NDK tools, and the open JDK. If you need help with this, make sure you watch my videos on how to set up the Oculus Quest 2 with Unity. But once you get that, then what I want you to do is create a project with that same version. And then you're gonna basically be at the level that, I, that I'm on right now. And then go into build settings, change your platform to be Android. Once you do that, now we're gonna start looking into downloading the Oculus integration. So it's gonna go into the asset store. Then all you have to do is just click on import. Once you click on import, you're gonna see that they have everything in here that we're gonna need. And you can be selective on what you download. I'm just gonna import everything. A specializer plugin needs to be upgraded. Make sure that you upgrade it. It's also gonna tell you that it needs to restore Unity. We're gonna say yes. And this is really important to know that version 1.63.0 of the Oculus utility, you need to upgrade it, otherwise it's not gonna work. I'm gonna say yes, and it's gonna tell you here that the OVR plugin will use this VR API backend. We're gonna be changing that in the next few minutes, so just hit okay for now. If we go into the assets and then Oculus folder, you're gonna see that we have a sample framework, usage, and then you're gonna see also that we have pass through, which is the new features that they added. If we go into scenes, there are multiple scenes in here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I just want to build one just to get it working, which is gonna be the augmented objects. And we're gonna be able to place these objects. Here are the controllers. And then these are some of the digital items that we're gonna be able to place around our room. What I need to do now is let's go into File, Build Settings, and I'm gonna be adding the current scene. Once you do that, we're gonna go into Player Settings, and we're gonna be installing the XR Plugin Management. So go ahead and click on Install. Then under Android, make sure that you enable the Oculus Plugin Provider. Now let's go ahead and go into Player, and in player, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. I'm just gonna say Delamore Games LLC, and then the Oculus Pastro Demos, I think it's fine, version is completely fine. And if you scroll down the minimum API level, make sure that you set it to 23. And then I'm gonna change this from mono to IL2 CPP. If you don't do that, it's not going to work, so just make sure that you do that. And I wanna thank the Oculus Community Forum for letting us know, know about this, because thank to them, I was able to get this working. And then I think that's everything that we need to do there. So now that we have that, we also need to change the color space. So change this from gamma, we're gonna change it to linear. If you don't do that, again, it's not gonna work, so make sure that you change it to that. So now let's go into Oculus. We're gonna go into Tools, OpenXR. We're gonna be switching the OVR plugin to the OpenXR backend. Let's go ahead and click on that. It's gonna tell you here that it has been enabled. And then it's gonna tell you that it needs to restart Unity. So we'll just restart it one more time. So now we can go into the OVR camera rig and there's gonna be a couple of settings in here that we need to enable. So if you look at it, if you're familiar with the Oculus integration, the OVR camera rig is some component that we already had available before, but now we have a couple of more options. We have what's called the experimental options in here, which is the features that we're gonna be enabling, the pass-through capability enable. And then once you do that, you're gonna see this enable pass through. So make sure that you have these three checkboxes enabled. Now we're gonna go back into Oculus, Tools, and then we're gonna be generating a store compatible Android manifest. And I'm gonna show you how that looks like. Then I'm gonna search for that. And if you search for that, you're gonna see that it added a couple of different settings to the Android manifest. One of them is gonna be the experimental features that we're enabling. So that one is set to true and also the pass through feature that we just enabled as well. Just wanted to make sure that you did that, otherwise, again, it's not gonna work. 
So once we do that, there's also another command that we're gonna have to run. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up, let me go ahead and open a new PowerShell window here. And we're gonna also go into edit and it's going to preferences. And what I want you to do is I want you to go into the Android SDK tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this path and then we can go back into our PowerShell. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. And it might just say that it can't find it, but that's because you need to add quotes. And then if you do LS in here, you're gonna see platform tools. It's going to into that. And then if you if you type in ADB EXE, you should get something like this that it's gonna give you some helpful helpful information. So my Oculus Quest right now is connected via USB. And let me show you something else really quick. You're gonna see if I hit refresh here, you're gonna see that that is connected, right? Make sure that you're connected before you run the command that I'm about to run. And then I'll just go back here. And then what I'll do is I'll just do my ADB command. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do devices, right? That's gonna be, it's gonna tell me that a device is connected or not. Paste the command here that we're gonna need. And that is ADB shell set property. And we're gonna basically set our Oculus device to, to have experimental enable. I'm gonna set it to one. Once you do that, you're gonna be able to run the experience that I have right now. And I'm gonna close out of this. And we should have everything that we need. If you wanna enable development build, that is really helpful if you wanna debug it. It might give you more information. So that's basically everything. Let's go ahead and build and run. I'm gonna just add it to my desktop. Hit save and make sure that everything works and show you the results. So I got this working. You guys can see that I can place the different, you know, wallpaper on the wall. I also have the Oculus logo here, which I'll rotate. I can move it around. The tracking is pretty, pretty accurate. I'll bring it close to me. You can also see that I'm tracking both controllers and that's because I'm using the actual mixed reality capture. Let's see how I can bring it close to me. Put it right here. And I'm really, really amazed with the accuracy of this. Just put it right there. Just move this one around, maybe over there. And then I can just put that one over there. And honestly, that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about these, let me know in the comments. Thank you.